our impulse bone. Hi. <laughs>
Uy, no, no. No, no. Don't hit ante, ha.
from from memory lane, a 1,500 square foot greenhouse filled with the world famous Eki poinsettias. Enjoy hundreds of exciting poinsettias in over 20 rare and unusual varieties. Learn the history of the world's best selling potted plant, the poinsettia. Try to find the solution to this one of a kind sweet pea maze. Immerse yourself in thousands of fragrant and colorful old fashioned sweet pea blossoms. Take your time. There is more than a third of a mile of walking paths in this patriotic color display to explore, to amuse, to entertain. Civilians have also become a popular world. Temperatures down to as low as 35 degrees. grow strong, robust plants that are free of pests and diseases. Our Cymbidium varieties are hand-picked based on several important criteria, ease of growth, temperature tolerance, large flower size, and color. The Flower Fields Cymbidium Orchids Project is funded through the City of Carlsbad's Agricultural Mitigation Grant. The City of Carlsbad is an active supporter of the Flower Fields and the Cymbidium Orchids Project. It is a continuation of their commitment to the success of this iconic destination, the flower fields. The fields today are a direct result of nearly 100 years of flower cultivation that began with Luther Village and early settled and horticulturalists that settled in the area in the early 1920s. Mr. Village worked through the gillis seeds to the area and began growing them in his fields next to Frank Frazee's small vegetable farm in South Oceanside. In 1933, Frank Frazee also started growing ranunculus and introduced his son Edwin to the art of seeding, cultivating, and irrigating the pretty but not yet popular flower. At the age of 16, Edwin Frazee quit high school to work full time on his father's virgin flower operation. This looks better the from down there. Ranunculus is neighbor to Asia Minor and a member of the Buttercup family. Originally, the flowers were single cut and ranged in shades of red and yellow. The beautiful colors and fullness of the flowers you see now are due to the careful selection of the Edwin Frazee of the Midlanders. If nature provided a full flower or an unusual color, Mr. Frazee would save the seed and plant them the next year. This resulted in full flowers in 13 beautiful colors, including Picotin, a mixture of variegated colors that we have today. Edwin Frazee made several moves over the years, but in 1965, he moved his monoculus, a new gladiolus growing operation, to the Pearl State, land owned by the Eki family of Encinitas. They had previously used the land to grow their poinsettias, but in the 60s, they moved the propagation into greenhouses. Paul Eki Jr. and Edwin were both other farmers, which helped form a strong bond between the two men. When Edwin decided to retire in 1993, Paul convinced him to stay on as a consultant to a new grower to carry on his work. Paul brought in Milano and Company, another long-time flower-growing family, to take over the growing of the beautiful binoculars. Paul Jr. also looked at tourism as an important way to keep the fields financially viable, as field-grown agriculture had become increasingly more difficult over the years. The stage was set for the to symbolize the diligence of a couple of the region's most important and colorful pioneers. In 1999, the flower... ...strong garden centers to manage the retail store. This agreement allows the flower fields personnel to concentrate on what they do best, growing beautiful flowers for the world to enjoy. For those not fortunate enough to be able to visit the flower fields, Bulbs from this amazing horticultural site can be found at easytogrowbulbs.com. Today, the flower fields represents the perfect synthesis of a robust working ranch and regional tourist attraction. Ample parking and Armstrong Garden Center, special event opportunities, historical information, and floral products are provided to thousands of visitors each year. Additionally, our Paul Eggy Jr. Barn can accommodate up to 200 guests for events, games, and weddings. Due to the continued benevolence and foresight of the Eggy Barn, the flower fields will continue to be a natural jewel, an attraction enjoyed for future generations. The red, white, and blue American flag is made of petunias. The flag 
has strategically planted on her hillside, it is a tribute to those men and women who have definitely fought for our country. The flock of fields has annually planted a flag of American flag on the south slope of the fields as a tribute to our courageous warriors. Near the end of the wagon tour, the brilliant flag can be seen overlooking Palomar Airport Road. Drawing inspiration from the designs of the cloistered gardens of the medieval era known as the Ancient Gardens, and the contemplative gardens of Islamic and Christian traditions, the artist garden is built around the reflecting pool. The artist garden offers visitors a sense of serenity while encouraging discovery of its many intricate details. Formal flower beds of intense color, painted wood planter boxes and trellises, vine covered arches, walking paths, wooden benches, and aviaries create a calming atmosphere for our visitors. Children and adults can sit on the edge of the pool and surround themselves in this enchanted garden. Thank you for joining us at the Flower Fields. Please stay seated until the wagon comes to a complete stop. We invite you to spend more time at all of the areas we discovered today. And if you're interested in taking advantage of the flower fields as a venue for your upcoming corporate event, wedding, or special celebration, visit us online at theflowerfields.com. Enjoy the rest of your visit.